How's it going, everyone? Maximilian here, and welcome back to another episode of the Road to 10th Prestige. Uh, as per a lot of requests of the previous Road to 10th Prestige videos and some of the Moab videos I've been posting, uh, some of you guys wanted to see a play-by-play -play in the full match analysis of how I'm getting some of these Moabs and what's going through my thoughts uh, while it's all happening. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, in this gameplay video, I'm going to play the entire thing out. And I'm going to try to give you a play-by-play a -play of what's going on. So for Hard Hat, if you see that line I just ran, uh, a lot of things I do in Modern Warfare 3, I pretty much run, run lines. I run areas that have gotten me success in the past before. And if you, this gameplay looks a little bit familiar, it should be. It's actually the one that was in the ACR breakdown. Um, that route has always been really successful for me. Uh, usually you'll run into a few guys running up to this area, and you'll you'll get, in, get into a couple of encounters that if you're put in the right situation, you have the advantage. Uh, I'm running like I, like I had with the breakdown, the ACR silenced with a red dot, which is just what I prefer. And I have a specialist loadout running right now. So here we go. Uh, what I'm doing in here is the, the middle of hard hat, which is arguably... One of the worst spots, I think, to hang out in this map if you don't have, like, a submachine gun. Um, if you're if you're going to try to control hard hat, the middle of the map is pretty rough. And it's it's only because if you have a team that is not uh, properly holding down all sides of the map, you're going to get shot in the back really fast. Uh, controlling the pipe is also really unnecessary. Uh, wow, that grenade should have killed me. And making sure no one gets through the pipe is is really necessary as well. And peeking up and down the pipe is really helpful, uh, as you were seeing there. Luckily, I got Scavenger, and I can be uh, not as conservative with my ammunition and just throw bullets in certain directions, because you're going to need to do that. Uh, a lot of the times when I play this map, I control the outside of the perimeter. Um, and if you see right here, I'm I'm thinking or I'm looking at the I'm looking at the mini map, seeing where my team is and going where my team isn't, because that's most likely where the enemy is going to be. Sit here for just a second to see if anything moves, and lo and behold, guy peeps his head out right over here. Of course, looking over this porta potty right here is always, uh, always an area where people are going to show up, and just like that, there they are. Uh, and moving into the middle, gonna see exactly how my team is holding the middle down, and it looks like they do. There's a dude covering the pipe, and gonna go back to the porta potty because there's nobody over here right now. Uh, if you see the red dots. You gotta be, you gotta take into account some dudes for assassin, but here they come, uh, just like we said, guys popping in this area constantly. Uh, the porta potty is also an excellent spot of this map where you're at an advantage. Um, if you come from this top area down to the porta potty, you're at a severe disadvantage. Uh, it's not a head glitch at all, but it definitely gives you an opportunity to shoot a couple more bullets a little bit faster at a much easier target than them trying to shoot you. And I'm running the perimeter now, so. I'm taking the route back to where I was before, and as you see, my team is all over here right now, and this spot right here where you jump off, uh, I don't think that is a head glitch, it, it definitely is very good. Uh, I think the top part of your head is showing, so, uh, you know, it actually might be a head glitch, it's just a really good spot of the map. I get hit, uh, and I do not have, oh, I do have blast shield, so that thing must have blown up right next to me, uh, so I recover my health and get back into the action. Uh, it makes me think of some stuff that'd be cool in the next uh, Call of Duty. I wish we can get a perk that allowed you to re regain your health a little bit faster. Anyway, um, here's a spot that I love on this map. Right here is absolutely amazing. You get a pretty good line of sight of the guys that come down and they go into the pipe, and you get guys that are constantly running into the pipe itself. you got to be really careful. Uh, this was kind of a risky move because people are usually hiding on top of the pipe right behind me. But I saw the opportunity, and the entire enemy team was running in that direction, so there was a good chance none of them were going to be looking it at my way. And that's what you want. That's, that's called a clown car, and you absolutely want to take advantage of situations like those. Pay attention to the minimap, and using this spot of the map uh, currently is going to be to my advantage. But you see that there was a lot of guys coming in my direction, so I just want to get out of there. Uh, even if you have specialists, there's going to be some some parts where you're, you're not going to be able to take down three to four people at any given time, uh, even with specialists. So as long as you can you can encounter people from like a single or two, that that that's possible. That that's doable. Uh, even though running into two people at the same time is most likely going to get you killed. Check this out. 
throw a stun grenade right over and look at that. Painted targets on the map because I have recon uh, uh, due to Specialist Pro. I love that. It gives you a great line of sight for how many people are in the middle, and those guys are now painted for a little while. Uh, I think if I throw another one... And bow! Land lands again, and there's a couple more people that you can see right in the middle of the map, uh, and that my teammates will be able to take those guys down a little bit quicker. But my playstyle is definitely sitting more towards the, the mid to long range. Um, if you're running something like Specialist, running into areas will we'll help out a lot of the time, and you'll get some awesome kill feeds, and you'll take down a ton of people, but other times you'll just lose your Specialist kill streak way too fast, and it gets really disheartening. Uh, running down this guy, as my teammate took him out, so that's just fine. And uh, if you see where there, where, where my my teammate Real Bone was crouched, yeah, right here. Uh, they're coming from this direction, or they might they might be coming from the other direction. Nonetheless, it's this is a great spot right here just for holding out because you you there's only two areas the enemy can come from. Sure, they can nade you in this area, but your line of sight, like right here, is is amazing. If you're able to keep your accuracy just a little bit, even though kind of crap in this situation right here the guy dies so holding out this side of the map is actually my favorite 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 part of hard hat uh, this corner right here this 90 degree corner is so good I and mean, it's where I'm gonna get a, the majority of my kills looks like that dude is already dead uh, the Reaper is causing some havoc right now and I'm gonna take advantage of it and see if I can kill a couple of guys that are trying to shoot some stuff down uh, but paying attention to the advanced UAV that's up right now there's a guy hanging out around here someplace. Where is he? Uh, it looks like he's down below. Um, and since our team is kind of all over the place right now, they're going to be spawning in some completely random spots. Uh, I haven't gotten a kill in a little while, and this always gets me nervous because we're at 54 tags right now, and this is going to start going fast, 55. And getting a Moab in something like Kill Confirmed is going to go pretty quick on a small map like hard hat uh so i'm patrolling a little bit at the top just trying to get kills now i think at this moment i'm desperate and i just want to try to get the moab and and if i don't get it then i don't get it i probably wasn't going to get it anyway if i was going to play conservative so i'm going to kind of go balls out right here and start rushing into areas where i think they're spawning which is uh usually what you don't want to do but for the sake of time you got to do it uh got to my right got to my left and nobody everybody's dead here comes a guy through the pipe, so that should be an easy kill. Nope! Teammate took him out, so I'm going to avoid tags completely at this point, because we are about to win this thing. Oh, there's a couple in the pipe, and bam, just like that, Moab being called in. Uh, we have about less than 10 tags left, so I'm going to go absolutely nuts and just rush the- Oh my god, somehow I got those kills and was able to pick up the tags. So Hardhat is, is a map that can be pretty easy to get a Moab on. More specifically, or more t because this map is kind of like older Call of Duty maps, which is why I like Hard Hat a lot. Uh, there's a lot of open areas, and there's a lot of points of control. There's a lot of really good sight lines, like the one we were saying up above, where um, which is right behind me right here. You have this area where you can look down certain areas and pretty much control certain portions of the map if you have a good assault rifle or even a sniper rifle in some points, so... Yeah, a hard hat is an excellent map. It's a lot of fun, and if you have a team that has support kill streaks, it makes getting Moabs even more effective. Uh, I think one guy was running support when we were doing this, so hopefully a little bit of this information and a live breakdown was useful for you guys. I know I know some of you like seeing the cut up gameplay clips, but I know a lot of you were requesting to see more of a analysis of what's going on. And uh, yeah, stick to the outside of hard hat. Keep an eye on the minimap and make sure where your teammates are is where the enemy is not a lot of the time. Except if it's in the middle of the map, and the middle of the map can be absolute chaos. Uh, if you stay in the middle of the map too much in hard hat, you're gonna die. And there's not much you can do about it. Um, not sure where, why too sure I'm picking up tags. I think a, a teammate requested not to, not to pick up tags, but uh, this game should just about be wrapping up. And if you enjoy seeing these Moab full game analysis type of uh, gameplays, please leave me a comment below. This has been Maximilian, signing out. Nice work, Delta. Well done.
Kill confirmed. 